Okay guys, so we figure we have about one more chance to bring these baby goats around the pond before they get too old and want to eat all of the plants. All right, Liddy, you get Tatum and Ethan. She's the freaking heavier she, one. Is she the heavier one? <laughs> no, they're... I think they've changed. I think that's the best figure now. When Willow was a little baby, she would run around the pond and it was so adorable. But we haven't really had that experience with these, uh, with this little group of baby goats. They've been more interested in eating the plants. So we're hoping that they will actually play today. One of these days, Danelle's gonna let me put Hermione in the pond. All right. You ready for this, Winnie? Ready? She's like, oh. <laughs> you ready for this, Tatum? Huh? Did we wake you up from your nap? Yeah. Okie dokie! Don't eat the plant! Okay, we have to walk around and show them. You know what? We have a lot of plants. They can eat them if they want. <laughs> so they gotta go on a walk around first. <laughs> well, so far, Winnie and Tatum are just exploring. They're just checking it out, guys. <laughs> they look so grown up to me. Oh, they're gonna head over to my garden and eat everything in sight. Woo! There they go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there they go. There they go, run! <laughs> that was fast, Winnie. Love the sound. They love the sound of the deck. It's so fun. <laughs> Jump, Dad. Good. Jump. Good job. They did it. <laughs> Tatum's a little more cautious than Winnie. Winnie's definitely a risk taker. Oh, there she goes. Here comes Winnie. Oh, a chair. Oh, see how venture she is? She's getting really close. One slip and it's all over. Can goats swim? I don't know. Don't miss out, hurry, you're gonna miss out. Miss out. Run. <laughs> Good job. Well, I think it's safe to say that Winnie is way more adventurous than Tatum, but they both liked it. They didn't actually eat that many plants, so we should probably make a tradition out of this until they do start doing it. It's time to open the honey bucket. Guys, I'm finally scraping the bottom. Can you believe it's taken us two years to finally get to the bottom of this thing? So today, we're gonna make something really special because we have a bunch of apples that are ready to be picked. Our apple tree is called a cocktail apple. It has three different varieties on it, and so they're all a little bit different. So we're gonna use the milk from yesterday's milking, and we're gonna use a ton of honey to make a homemade caramel sauce. There are two things you need to know when you make caramel, or caramel, whatever you wanna call it. The first is that you must add baking soda so it doesn't boil and separate. The second is that you gotta be in it for the long haul because this takes all day. But if you're patient, it gets to this nice golden brown color and then finally it hits the caramel stage. All right guys, so I thought it was a little bit thin, so I cooked it down more, and this is what happened. <laughs> I think it got a little bit burnt or dark. It looks like chocolate. It looks like chocolate. So I probably should have left it at that stage, but no. Oh well. Go ahead and see if you guys like it. <laughs> Does it taste like caramel or chocolate? Oh, get a, a huge chunk, Ethan. Oh, that was disappointing. It's like caramel. Does it? 
Let's see if Lydia thinks it tastes like caramel. She'll see. It does taste like caramel. It does? Does it taste burnt yeah. at all? No, no, not really. Huh. Not that bad. It's just super, super dark. Yep. Caramel. Which, which shoes today, Ethan? I usually Crocs. take my Crocs. <laughs> so because Lydia and I wake up in the morning and do all of the milking and chores, and we let Ethan sleep in, he does the night chores for us. And we haven't come out in a while, so I'm gonna see uh, how he handles all these animals all by himself. First thing we gotta do is take Mrs. Chicken here and put her back in the coop. They always get up here. Oh. Whoa, whoa. I think Doris is just gonna go around. All right, Doris gets up on the sand. So wait. Let go, let go, let go. Let go. <laughs> Oh, so you put her over there to get her little night treat. Yeah, she gets her treat over there and usually she's completely drained from Tatum. Okay. So I just check and see if she has stuff and if she does, I'll milk her out a little bit. Where are you going? Don't you milk Doris? Oh, you milk her into that. That's a right clean bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Hermione is the one who gets the milk because it's too difficult to bring it inside and strain it. So she sits there waiting and screams at me the whole time, like now. <laughs> you better hurry. Yeah. Hermione, you have to be patient. Oh my gosh. She's got like, she's like. <laughs> she's like spitting mad. Yeah, you just don't pay attention, she'll jump up on the gate. Oh, you've got kitties out here as friends. Yes. Only two of them. Uh, and Doris just patiently gets milked, and Tilly just patiently eats. Oh, she's getting loud. You need to be quiet and be patient. She's so gross. She's so gross right now. Minnie, did you come out here to help? Huh? Or to drink some milk? Do you look for scorpions around here? I'm afraid to lean against the wall. Sometimes you can see scorpions in regular light, but it's really hard. So, I barely can see them. Oh my goodness. So that's Hermione's bucket. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nasty, but she doesn't care. And that's it? Do you check Tilly, but you're, you, most of the time Tilly's dry, so. Most of the time, she just has like two or three squirts. Oh, so you just come over here and do it. Yeah. You sit on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so finally she gets her treat. Yes, stay away from And she drinks that in about two seconds. Yep. And then she spends the rest of the time like throwing the bucket around. <laughs> I just grab one scoop because usually that's all we need. Okay. So you head back here to the Willow and Penny and Winnie Pen. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. The There's Willow just hanging out right there. There's Penny waiting for her dinner. Okay. And there's so... little Winnie. Oh, then this you give a little all, bit to the girls in here? Yeah, this is all smushed down. So you just put it on top? <laughs> it looks like they already have Oh, okay. Uh, so, Willow doesn't like feeding her baby, so we Aww, have to hold her. Willow. So you hold her down so that you don't have to milk Willow? She just gets to yeah, drink it. she stays there pretty well, but... Right. <laughs> Let your baby have all the rest of the milk. It's so funny, the difference in their coloring. Willow's like a redhead. <laughs> she is. She's orange. She's like, you can usually tell if she's punching that much that she's empty. Okay. Alright, good job Willow. And then you try to entice Tatum to come in. Come on, there you go. 
Watch out, Gary Will's gonna escape. Come on. I can't hold her for long. <laughs> hey, there's the other kitty. Hi. All right. Oh. Restless. So they get their little pellets at night. Hi. Time to go to sleep, okay? She's done with their food. Uh-oh. The last thing we do is we feed the boys back here. All we right. lock them up in the cat cage so that they're safe. Yeah. Come on. All right. Ooh, they want their dinner. We don't give them too much. All right. Good night. All right. Except Doris wants to steal her food. Doris. Bedtime. Bye bye. Hermione's so good. She knows she can't come in here. So she stays right here. All right. Bye, Tilly. Have a good sleep. So all the baby chicks sleep on this one spot. All 15 of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, where's Kiwi? What, are, what does Kiwi do? Mm, over there with Mango. Oh my gosh. Around. That's so funny that they all sleep on this. Luna and Fern, I forgot about you guys. They sleep all the way out here. They do sleep out here. Luna loves this little area. Because the ground's all soft. Mm hmm. Look, she dug a hole for herself. She did. Look at that. I'm sitting in this hole. You going to sleep? <laughs> Good night. Good night, Fern. Oh man, you're looking round. Ultrasound soon, okay? And the last thing is, Stella and Iverson get some food. Yum. Stella! Well, our morning start with Stella over there screaming at us for her breakfast. Getting fat. Doing good. She gets a big old breakfast every morning. <laughs> and the milk at night. Yeah. Yum. She gets some old turkey bacon. Yeah. Not real bacon. Not real bacon. All these chickens are jealous. You want some too? Trying to get her big, healthy, and fat for when Ron comes back so she's ready for breeding. Uh, he's probably gonna come back in like October. Yeah, Ron's a sweetie to us, but he's kind of rough with Hermione. He fights for food and bites her and kind of bullies her a little bit, so she needs this big break from having babies to being bred again. And so hopefully this gives her enough of a break to eat enough food and build up her condition and then breed. The best days are started with milking goats, right? <laughs> Hello, Luna. Are you hungry? trying to get. Yeah, just a little bit. Just trying to bite at it. Look, Dora came out. Dora? Dora? How are you? Did you come to visit? Dora is really old. She's like 15. 
and she does not like to come out in this heat. She most of the time stays inside and just sleeps all day. So it's a like really big shock to see her out here this morning, but apparently she wanted to come and help. Out. Come on, Willow. Time to be milked. Run. She likes it. You get that chicken, Willow. Willow has gotten so good with milking. She does not kick, except for at the very end, she starts to bring that front leg up, and I have to block it with my arm. So she starts kicking with this one, and as long as I keep, <laughs> see. She does that as almost like a protest, like that she's done. So I have to keep my arm like this as I milk. And as long as I do that, I can prevent her from kicking. And we're dying of sweat out here. It's supposed to be something like 111 today. So I think it's already 100 degrees right now. Oh, you're getting bigger, huh? Yeah, I'm getting so bigger on that. And you can swim really well now. Yeah, I can go in the water. You're such a good swimmer. So Willow is getting a lot better and I don't know about her legs getting straightened. We're just gonna take our time and be patient with um, the leg issue. But uh, yeah, so far she's doing really well. She's all grown up now, Kevin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's had her babies. She's milking really well. Now she's learned not to kick. And she's finally getting some of her condition back after having triplets. She was a little skinny there. She's still a little bit skinny, but she's doing really well. Bye. You guys have a good day, okay? I'll get you a little bit more hay. No, not you. There you go. Just her. Just her. There you go, Tilly. There's your baby. Feed your baby. Oh, she's gonna talk to Penny a little bit. Penny is looking a little bit better. She's got still that leg that she's holding up, but the other leg looks pretty good. See, they like it. At first they didn't like it, but now they've gotten used to this grass. And little Winnie, she's getting so big. Look at her. She's so tall. Yeah, she's really tall. Chicken turned around, chicken right there. And this last one, it's got some eggs in it. Fern's ultrasound is actually this Saturday. So it'll be in next week's video, next Thursday. I'm excited to find out how many she has. I know she's, she's definitely pregnant for sure. Oh gosh guys, I already feel so overheated. Gotta get out here and uh, get in the pond before we do the rest of the chores. This is why we built this thing. Oh. We don't even bother to put our swimming suits on anymore. We just get in, in our clothes because it's just, it's too hot, it's too hot. In a way, really, it's our own fault because we've been staying up late, watching movies in the summer, and so we sleep in. Can't sleep in past seven or else it gets way too hot. We're making use of this really cool pig water we made. Remember, we drilled those nipples in there, and now she can make a mud puddle whenever she wants. She just puts her mouth on there, lets all the water, she does it, look. So Kevin moves it every day so we don't have like one big mud pile. But she's so smart, she knows that if she pushes on it, she can make herself a mud pile. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that is so gross. <laughs> now this breed of pig, Cooney, Cooney Cooney, or Cooney Coon, however you say it, they don't normally root that much, but they do like in the summer, just kind make, of a muddy place. Just make a hole big enough for their stomach to go in. Yeah. And it's comfortable. And she can cool down a little bit. Does that feel good? <sighs> I 
And last but not least, we check on Stella, who still screams, but only when she's hungry now. Other than that, she's gotten used to the idea of being with Iverson, haven't you? He really is a sweet buck. You are, you're super sweet. I actually love Iverson, he's so sweet. He's not a bully at all with any of the ladies. So Stella has warmed up to him, it's kind of fun to see. So according to my calculations, if she was bred when I think she was bred, she would be due November 25th. So this Saturday we're ultrasounding Fern, but we won't be able to ultrasound Stella for a few more weeks. But yeah, I think, she, I think she's bred. We're still not sure if this guy's a rooster. <laughs> We're in denial. It's a hen. He'll lay eggs. She'll lay eggs, right? Yeah. You're not a rooster. People are crazy. Well, looks like Tatum has figured out that she can also be a chicken if she wants, if she tries hard enough. Oh. Tatum, that is not for you. Oh, we're gonna have to scoot that in. Kiwi still hangs out with her chicks, but she doesn't really hang out with them all the time. She's, she's become a little bit more detached from them. She'll still protect them from Minnie. <laughs> but other than that, she kind of goes off on her own. And Mango, she's still laying in this tire. She comes out every once in a while. And we can't put any fertilized eggs under her because it's too hot, so she just kind of laid her own. We need to take those out from under her. Yes. Oh, she's not happy with you. She needs more. Oh, here you go, Hermione. I'll give it to you right here. Ooh, don't try to. Is that yummy? Don't eat the shell, eat the egg. Oh, <laughs> Kiwi's got it. Kiwi's gonna come steal it. You're not fast enough. People always ask us why the milk is foamy, and that's because we milk really fast. And so, this gets all foamy. It's like if you put milk in a blender, you know, we're just mixing it so fast. So the girls will go down in milk throughout the year. So right now we're getting a half gallon from all three, and that's just in the morning. If we were to milk them again at night and save it, we would get another half gallon. But right now, since we're only really milking Doris because the other two have babies, uh, we just give that little bit to Hermione every night like we did last night. That's it. We just close it up and we put it in our little tiny milk fridge over here. We keep this really cold, like 34 degrees, and this is why we bought this fridge set up because we knew we needed a small fridge for milk and we looked around till we found one that would have a freezer attached. So our fridge in here is kind of funny. They don't really match. We have a big fridge and then we have a mini fridge on top here that we can control the temperature and then two little freezers down here. We also have a deep freezer here in our laundry room and the reason why we have a doorknob up here is so my little niece and nephew don't come in here all the time and we can have um, <laughs> a little separation from them. They live in the guest apartment there on the side of our house. But that's our deep freezer right here. Kevin just finished making these beautiful laundry shelves for me. So now I'm gonna organize all of our laundry stuff. We share this laundry room with my sister who lives in the guest apartment and so we're just trying to find the best solution to store both of our laundry detergents and everything and I think this is gonna be a perfect solution. A lot of people don't get to see this part of the house so I'll just, this is our tiny little laundry room. We've got a bunch of grapes today some little figs that have just started to ripen. Of course, always zucchini and always tomatoes. So that's a big haul from today. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you want to watch a video back when Willow was little and she was running around the pond, click right here. <laughs>